hi guys seasonal greetings to you all my name is easy and i'm going to be teaching you how to use wonderfuls this is the second video in this series and in this video we're going to be dealing with taxes now to have access to uh, configuration of taxes you have to be at least a manager so we're going to log in with the manager account and we'll navigate to maintenance because that's where all the tax issues are um, here on the tax categories these are this is a group of taxes that are going to be placed on products and customer tax categories that's a group of taxes that are going to be placed on people and here are the taxes themselves which are going to fall into either tax categories or customer tax categories or both of them now we'll start with tax categories I'll click here um now in wonder post every product has a tax levied on it and if you're going to get a product with no tax on it you will have to create a tax which uh, is basically zero percent and that's how you're going to create a product with no tax on it and in our case this is the category of those taxes now to create a new category you click on this button here this add new button is going to clear the, the text field here for new input let's say let's just call this a uh, new tax category and take save and you see it's been added to the list of tax categories now if you come back here to maintenance let's open up our customer tax categories it's we're going to follow the same process uh, by clicking on the new button let's name this new customer tax category and we take save now let's go back and open up taxes now to create a new tax you go ahead and follow the same procedure you click on this new button clears out the field for new input now let's just name this new tax and here this is where you select tax category to you so we're going to place this new tax under the new tax category we just created that's it here and i'm going to okay if you want to make this a sub tax on another tax this is where we do that if you notice we always have three different taxes here and we can place this under any of these three taxes but i'm not going to do that i'm going to leave that free and we're going to specify the rate let's just say 15 percent and that's it i'm going to take save now if that are if, if we're going to limit the products let's say uh, any product with this tax on it if you want to limit such a product only to a particular set of people then we we'll have to take pick a customer tax category from this list let's say a uh, premium membership if you place this year only members with this tax this customer tax uh, category with members who are who, are, who pay this uh, premium membership tax they are the only ones who will be able to buy products with this particular tax uh, I'm going to save that and log out now I'm just going to log back in as an employee or let me see or better see I'll log in as an administrator just to show you the place to go to use this taxes and cat categories okay let's the products if you come down here this is where we fit in the taxes you see so if the product is not going to contain any tax we'll take exempt and this is our new tax category so if we take this whatever product we are creating uh, anybody buying that product will have to pay all the taxes in this category and that brings us to the end of this particular video thanks for watching and i hope this video has been helpful thanks bye